Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. There was a magnitude 3.0 earthquake there in the state of Washington up by um, Seattle. The Canadian border, 15 people reported feeling this earthquake. It was reported in Vancouver. It was also reported in Seattle. Here's the location of that earthquake. They have a fire break that they put in through here. Using PNSN, they're always a day behind. We have multiple earthquakes. You can see this here. I'll zoom into the Seattle area. And I've talked about this area before. We have an area down south called Toe Jam Hill Fault Scarp. Here's that th recent 3.0. Now this 2.0, that was on the 5th of January and then we got another one uh, what we got let's see a 3.4 that was December 19th and I'll try and get the other one to a 3.0 also December 19th yesterday the 26th like I said they're always a day behind there was 29 earthquakes on this map and I'll bring it out it very well could include the ones that were down south here by Eugene see we got Coos Bay and that's another lock zone for the Cascadia fault zone Juan de Fuca yeah we'll bring it down those that follow me will know about this toe jam fault scarp and the uh, yeah, great danger to the uh, Seattle area. Let me try and zoom in on this. Rivers, um, yeah, modern infrastructure often follows along a line that's, uh, yeah, uh, relatively smooth. And that's because of uplift. Yeah, see that? But notice this area here, the scarp goes all the way out to this point and then extends all the way across uh, both, both east and west. A bit disappointing on EMSE, no one sent in a testimony report. They said it was 43 kilometers in depth. That would be about 26 miles. So it's down there in the crust where we got the, the folding of the fault line subduction. And I really wish USGS would give us the data what these people reported. They're just not very transparent, are they? According to them, the felt reports are not felt all the way up to weak to light. I'll show you here by the coloring that they have on this thing. Now, according to this Twitter report, it said they were just drifting off to sleep when the earthquake hit at 11.59 p.m. Larry has a Twitter post that says, 300 years ago, a massive earthquake along the Cascadia subduction zone caused a devastating tsunami on the west coast of Washington and Oregon. It will happen again. Yes, it will. Another says that it was an unusual place for an earthquake. No, it wasn't. If you know the geology, it wasn't. It was near an area called Squim. So the question is, did you feel this earthquake? How long did it last? What direction did it probably move? More likely uh, west and east movement. And that would be caused by subduction. Please put your information down below. Thank you for subscribing. Please stay safe. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.